I really wanted to help people more directly. And I was considering um, going to school and becoming a social worker. I was partnered with Marilyn Brown, the director of juvenile detention, in the Chesterfield County mentoring program. I thought that was really cool because she has a degree in social work. I started going over to juvenile detention and observing some of the programs that they have there for the youth. Great, I can find out more about this new career from her. And I was like, I, I don't need to change careers. I'm a librarian and I can go into the community and help people directly. And I found that so rewarding. I partnered with Ann DeWitt. Um, she's one of our wonderful librarians. She found out about this great grant from ALA called Great Stories Club that would allow us to do a book club with a group of underserved youth. And we thought, the kids at juvenile detention would be perfect for that. The grant is offered by the American Library Association, so the ALA does this um, every year. Um, this year we are one of about 70 um, partnering institutions um, across the, the country to offer this uh, Great Stories Club book club. I remember when I came to the program, I had stopped reading and they influenced me to start reading more. And when I read the first book, which was, it's kind of a funny story, it kind of set off like something and I started reading more like I started reading the Percy Jackson series and right and then I read the Heroes of the Gods. I'm on the last book for that. The books show you that a lot of people go through a lot of problems and everything just like you do and it just shows you that you can work through it. The books were um, specifically chosen for this population, which I think is really important, and it doesn't shy away from the topics that our kids have to live and experience every day. Uh, and I appreciate our librarians you know, going and getting the training and then partnering with our mental health staff so that they could have real conversations about some of these topics like teen depression, suicide, bullying, but in a safe way and then a way that we provide resources and support if it kind of touches on a nerve with the kids. I think what's so cool is, um, from my experience watching it, is the kids you know, feel like they get to have an opinion and a voice about some of these topics without being judged or graded like you would in school. And then watching them kind of figure out if one of them doesn't agree with that opinion, how they can respectfully do that and say, well, this is how I feel. Eric and I were both really pleased with the outcome. Uh, we really felt like the students were engaged. They were reading, not only reading the books, but they were um, offering really insightful um, comments about the characters and events and um, commenting on uh, the themes with, you know, relating to their own personal lives. It really is the best part of my week, going into the juvenile detention home and working with these kids. For me, it's a very rewarding experience uh, working with these kids. Um, they're just so bright and talented and so engaged in all of the programs that we've brought over there that I really do hope that we can um, continue to um, provide outreach services and um, also bring them into the library for more programming. The libraries just totally make sense because every child's going back, if they're not from Chesterfield Colonial Heights, they're still going back to a community that has a public library and to know that that's a resource for them, those are free resources and that those are there are folks in those facilities that um, want to engage with them and want to help them, I think that's pretty cool. They are in search of, of finding their voice um, and spending time at a detention facility uh, leaves them with a lot of time to think about um, making changes in their lives. So hopefully we have played some small part in um, furthering that process.